Welcome back to the vlog. Before we go ahead and get on with the video, I just want to say a huge thank you to Benoa and Alessia and Luna for giving me the opportunity to model for Benoa Swim. And if you guys live in Hawaii, you guys know that they are it. They are it. They're an amazing female-owned brand and I am just so excited and grateful for this opportunity that I got to model their new pieces. So yeah, I had to vlog it. I had to vlog it. But before we go to the photo shoot, I'm going to be showing you guys what I do to kind of prep for it from my workout in the morning to getting ready and all that shenanigans. If you guys want to see all the film pictures that we took, make sure you're following me on my Instagram, which is at Farina.Aguinaldo. And make sure to check out Benoa Swim and their Instagram. But yeah, I'm just so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And without further ado, come along and spend and see and experience a work day in my life in Hawaii. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. It is currently 7, I think like 7.15 right now and I'm about to get ready because I have a couple of brand deals to shoot at the beach today and I wanted to take you guys along with me. Okay, I'm going to show you guys briefly what my beach makeup is, specifically when I have to shoot some content. First things first, I'm doing my morning skincare because your base is really important. This has been the most consistent I've been with my morning skincare and I really see like a huge difference. I'm just using the Dr. Gross um, Universal Daily Peel and I use this every single day in the morning. And then the next step I usually go in is the C Firma um, Vitamin C Serum from Drunk Elephant. I love this thing. It definitely like helps brighten up your complexion. I don't know if it like gets rid of hyperpigmentation or dark spots, but I can tell that my face has gotten lighter because my whole face is lighter than my body. And that's the only like brightening serum that I use right now. Up next, I'm gonna go in with the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen. This is my favorite face sunscreen. As someone who has an oily face, this is really great because it does not break me out. All right, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Primer. This is, I would say, like a dupe for the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This is so good. And if the Milk Makeup is not within your budget, like this is a really great primer. And I need to wear primer because I don't want my makeup moving when I'm shooting. At the beach, I need it to stay on. And sometimes I even like shoot some kind in the water, so I need my makeup to stay. On. For foundation, I use the Stay Naked um, Weightless Foundation from <gasps> Urban Decay. This is very lightweight on the skin, and honestly, I feel like it's been my go to foundation for forever. If I'm not in the mood to wear foundation, I like to wear um just concealer and my favorite one right now is the tarte shape tape concealer it is honestly so good you guys i finally tried it like a couple months ago and i was like oh i wish i tried this sooner because it is honestly so good especially if you have an oily skin like it is amazing you can just wear this by itself but today since i'm shooting content i want that extra coverage i am in the shade medium tan just like to put it under my eye like so then i love blending my concealer with this flat brush for blush i'm gonna go ahead and use rare beauty this is my favorite 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 liquid blush i'm running out of the shade love but 
this has been like my go-to blush for like the last couple days this bottle alone will last you literally like a year i promise you that for contour i'm gonna go in with rare beauty this is the cream blush and i just like to put it in my nose forehead cheeks like that i'm gonna go ahead and set it with the laura mercy translucent powder this was a PR. I don't know if they saw this size, but this was like a jumbo size. One of my new favorite things that I've been using to set my powder are these triangle puffs. I got them from Amazon. It came in a pack of like 20 or something like that. And they're honestly so good because they, they get into like the little crevices. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows while that sits. I'm using a new brow product, but it's from Benefit Cosmetics. This is the Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil. And... Um, I typically use those retractable liner eyebrow products, but um, I want to try this one. I know it looks like it's used, but I think it's just because it came off, but I'm just going to go ahead and line my brows. For highlight, I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty highlighter in the shade Flaunt. It's this gorgeous, like, golden tan color. I'm going in with the brush. They sent this in a PR and I literally was like, shitting my pants, guys. But, like, how gorgeous that is. It's a powder highlight, and it is just the prettiest thing ever. And then I go in with my Hoola bronzer, and I specifically only use this for my nose contour. And I like to connect it underneath my brows, just for that more natural contour look. Then I'm going to take my Tarte Precious Gems Amazonian Clay Cheek Palette. And I have all these colors right here and they're so gorgeous. I like to mix this middle one and the upper right. I'm going to go back with the highlighter and putting it in the inner corner of my eye. I'm using the Lawless Hold Up Set Brow Wax. And they sent this in a PR and it's really good. Now I'm going to go ahead and set everything with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. For lips, I'm gonna go in with the Benetint, and this is like an OG product. It looks like I'm applying nail polish, but you can use this for your cheeks or your lips, and I'm gonna go ahead and use it on my lips. This is just like a little stain what i've been loving is the maybelline um lifter gloss in the shade pearl it is like this bright white pearl color that is the makeup guys i hope you enjoyed it i'm gonna show you really quickly how i do my hair i'm not really gonna do it but i just have a little bit of kinky hair that i'm not liking so we're gonna go ahead and fix that but that is the makeup look Super easy. Also, this is a drugstore product, so get this. I'm gonna use my little hair dryer brush. I got this from Target the other day, and honestly, I've been loving it. <laughs> start this vlog but i just got to the shoot location i'm just waiting for alicia or alicia hopefully i'm correct i'm pronouncing your name correctly but she's on her way she's almost here and i just parked and so look at the waves guys look at the waves she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her she's a mona lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that feeds her You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her 
You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she hides under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah And all the girls around the world, they wanna be And all the dudes are trying to score like it's fever She lives a double life, puts on a show What's under the subtle smile, we'll never know She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her Let me paint a picture I see they don't understand Feeling like Picasso She brushing against my hands See you from around the way You didn't give me the time of day You be making moves that you Who really care what Simon say All the bad things, girl, I had to look past that Call yourself a dime guys it is post shoot right now came to halavables i got the blue magic bowl but this time i got um coconut condensed milk on top because it's like their newest add-ons that you could do and it looks ugh. i just got back from target some groceries for the taco night so first thing we got some cilantro we got some Mexican cheese, um, this Sazon Goya seasoning, salsa, here we go. Um, I needed onion powder for the carne asada as well as garlic powder. And then we got some corn tortillas. I got two of these because I feel like one isn't enough, so we got two. Sour cream, Kikoman soy sauce, and then last but not least, Salsa Verde. Also, I forgot to show you guys this, but I got this little beer opener. It's so cute. So I'm gonna put it right here. I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!